Uh, so sorry. I'm gonna have to translate everything you <laughs> say. Hey guys, it's Becca. And Mike. <laughs> Sounds worse than what I'm talking. I told you it's bad. <laughs> Oh, so we just wanted to come on and first of all say thank you so so much for a thousand subscribers we are so honored and appreciative of every one of you she's honored <laughs> to have every one of you be a part of this we joined almost exactly six months ago so this was like a really cool thing to happen on our six month anniversary. Love, we love it here and we love everyone we have met and talked to and we look forward to future relationships, future buddy reads, and future videos with all of you guys. Definitely. And if you didn't <laughs> understand that, the description will be in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, so that kind of segues into where we have been this past month. We only posted, I think, two videos in September. There was like a combination of things going on. You can't tell. I am sick. <laughs> Which I was sick previously, so. Yeah, so I caught this from, I, it was a two-week bug. Mike had the two-week bug before that. Before that, we were sick, or he was sick, and then I got sick because of him again. It was just like a cycle. And then we were traveling a lot. Uh, we were in four different states in September. So we actually, our first trip, we went to Ohio um, to see, well, to hang out with family and go to the football game for Ohio State. Yes, the Ohio State. My alma mater. And then after that, we went to New York, well, planning on San Diego, but my wife here surprised me with a Big Apple anniversary vacation. So we went yeah. to New York City and spent five days there. <laughs> Year three anniversary is like fruit and flowers. It's the like traditional gift. And so this year my fruit gift was tickets to the Big Apple and it was really hard to surprise a trip. <laughs> and yeah. I did it. She doesn't so. keep secrets very well. New York. And then from New York, we went to, uh, we did a little like mini trip to Walt Disney World with some friends. And just came back from that on Monday, actually. Yep. <clears throat> so it's been a pretty busy month for us. So we are so sorry, guys. We have some things in the works. And hopefully we will be back to our normal posting schedule here soon. Once uh, the chaos settles. I know. I think the next video I wanted to post was this skit we did. And I have to do a voiceover. <laughs> so He has no voice to do a voiceover. It's not going to come up right now. Because I have to finish the voiceover. So to celebrate getting a 1,000 followers. A thousand followers. We wanted to give back and tell you some of our favorite booktubers. The reason we haven't done any kind of video like this yet is because I always feel really bad making these because I love so many of you guys and I always have a hard time choosing who to mention just because I love every one of you. So these are only a couple. We I plan on making more of these. So here we go. Alright, the first one is going to be the lovely Georgina Reads. I love Georgina Reads so much. She is the sweetest thing and you should definitely give her a follow. And the next group or duo would be Game of Toes. They were the first duo channel that we like came across and I was so excited. I love these two so much. They have amazing videos and they are so entertaining together. You should definitely check them out if you haven't already. The next one is a personal favorite of mine, formerly known as Mel Moriarty. Mel Moriarty is wonderful. She's a teacher and has a really unique style on her reviews. She has this really cool editing and has started to do book trailers. So it's been really fun following her channel. The next gentleman is actually one that we talk to quite often. That's Tom Talks Books. I am so mad. I am so mad. And he lives in the UK. We were in Florida the same exact weekend and he did not get together with me and I we're mad at you. No, really though, Tom is so great. He is freaking amazing and hilarious. If you want a freaking funny good time, he's person to follow. The next one is going to be That Bookie. I love That Bookie. That Bookie was one of the reasons I wanted to start booktube. Mm -hmm. She is like the coolest mom ever. She's freaking all-star. She does it all, I swear. She has like her own bookish box that you should check out and amazing. We also did an unboxing for her prototype, we'll link that down below for you. She makes her own bookmarks and candles as well. She has an amazing channel. Oh my gosh, she does it all, I swear. <laughs> and our next booktuber is going to be the lovely Elliot Brooks. Yep, she is a writer and she is like a huge fantasy person. So if you love fantasy, this is 
definitely a channel you have to follow. Yep. The next is, is the lovely Kelsey at Hardback Haven. We actually started our channels around the same time, so it's mm -hmm. been really cool to see her um, in the community with us, kind of grow her channel. She is the sweetest thing ever, and she is so interactive. And I absolutely love that, so check her out. And these last three channels are absolutely wonderful. We love them so much. I definitely give them a look if you haven't already. That's gonna be The Reading Realm, Matthew Sciarapa. Hopefully I didn't butcher that, I'm sorry if I did, my bad. He's hilarious. And The First Chapter. Oh, he is so funny. He is like an inspiring actor, obviously, and the charm just comes out in his videos. All right, we're also gonna name some bigger YouTubers that we absolutely love watching and recommend to you guys. So the first one is Julia Sapphire. She is a big Stephen King fan and Poe fan. We love her so much. She has extremely good reviews and good point of views on things. The next one is gonna be Book Roast. Book Roast was also one of the channels that got me to start a booktube channel. I love her so much and she has some really unique content on her channel. Yeah. She's always very creative. Next one is gonna be Pages and Pens. As well as Chelsea Dolly Reads. These two are freaking hilarious, especially when they're together. They do a drunk live show and it's like the best thing on booktube, I swear. Speaking of drunk live show, Hardback Hoarder, who we also absolutely love, was a uh, helped host their last one and it was like my favorite one ever. So we laughed really hard. Yeah, so and so go ahead and check out Hardback Hoarder as well. She's freaking hilarious. Alright, next one's gonna be Ink and Paper Blog. He is so freaking great. He's actually, if you're local to Oregon, I believe he's hosting an event at a local bookstore. He just announced it on his channel. You should check it out. Yep. But he has such good taste and reviews. If you haven't checked out his channel or need a really good book review, he's a place to go to. And he likes Red Rising, so you just gotta trust <laughs> his him. his husband, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and last but not least, we recommend J.D. Ray Reads. She is sassy and totally up my alley. <laughs> so... We are gonna link all these guys down below. Please check them out, they're all wonderful channels. Again, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. All right, and <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much for the thousand subscribers. We appreciate all of you and we look forward to expanding and making more videos for you all. We love you guys so much, thank you. See you guys next time. T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U Thank you, thank you T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U